Hello, animatronic fan here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on um, Abandoned Annie from Spirit Halloween's 2019 collection. So, I think I'll probably start off with the face, since that seems to be like the most important thing. Uh, I just found a zip tie for Menacing Molly, but her face has pretty good detail. Um, from a distance, you can't really tell that this opens up but these cracks are fairly fairly realistic um the eyebrows kind of look weird because i think mine are like they're painted on kind of like red but the eyes are okay they uh they're okay but they're sh like they're different in size like this one's bigger than that one but that's how big the mouth open that's how big it opens and then that's how it opens right there. That, I, it's not focusing on it. That uh, pushes back on the head and it opens it. And there's some springs and stuff. Then there's a wire, which goes down to her whole body because her whole, she's got a whole doll body because she comes already put together in the box. See how big the box is. It's like the biggest box Spirit has this year. But her face is really cool. Um, and then, I don't know what this would be counted as, but the hair is like pretty generic, like doll hair. It's um, whatever, it's just fake hair. Um, and then I'll get to go down to like the body. Uh, the arms are poseable. And that's probably how she's going to be on Halloween. Like that. And then she'll be like... Yeah, but both of the arms are poseable. So... Yeah. Um, and the clothing's pretty cool. It is really, like, old-timey got that old timey look and this is like it's pretty good oh and she is seasonal vision vision so i'm hoping that she'll last a decent amount of, of time because her base is metal and yeah and seasonal visions hold up one second Here's my hubs right here. Um, this is seasonal visions. This is usually what seasonal vision, visions usually does. And like it's all made out of metal or plastic. So, so yeah. Hugs from last year, so. Yeah, I do have a bit of an issue with her, though. She does only run on batteries. Here, let's turn her around. Oh, I do have a con, which I'll talk about in the con section. Well, I guess this is now, but after this. Um, so you can see how she has a, has an entire doll body. Uh, what does that say? Does that say seasonal visions? Yep, seasonal visions right there. And then that's the volume... Uh, dial, speaker, try me, and then that's where the batteries go in. She has try me, and then sensor, which is sound, and I think if you tap on her, and then on, which is she just goes on for a while, and then there's a speaker, and you can see the whole doll body, so it even like goes out to the arms and stuff, so. And then I do have what I want to talk about as a big con, at least for me. Not sure about other people. Um, it happened like not even a day after I got her. Um, I was going to turn her on and I guess I bent her over and I pushed too hard and she has, her feet are screwed in on the bottom. Uh, you can't see it, but those are the feet. So it's screwed into the mold for the plastic 
and it's screwed into like a metal piece down here on both and it's two screws in the back two in the front i bent i knocked out the two in the front and that's happened twice now where the screws have been knocked out of the feet but yeah i don't know if that's a reoccurring issue i know i just know that mine's been having that issue so now we'll have her go off let's see her volume's good now she'll probably be pretty loud It does, here, let me turn it off. It does uh, rock her around pretty good when she goes, when it opens the mouth. But yeah. Um, also, mine isn't messed up. Uh, it's not off whack. Uh, so, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed my video. And this has been my review of Abandoned Annie. Bye.